Hi, Famous here. Today I'll talk about some weird things about Revenant perk card. Revenant is a perk that will give you plus 50% additive damage after you getting revived either by yourself or by someone else. Probably most of you just don't care about this perk, but hopefully this video will help some people like me who like to do solo boss kill. In order to activate this perk, there are some ways to down yourself. The first way is using food that increases max HP. This time I will use pumpkin pie. And make sure you already have pumpkin pie buff active. If you haven't, you need to take one first. Take the first one. So as it stated, it's increase your HP by 40. So now you want your current HP under 40. In this case, I will using radiation. So now I have 32. I forgot to bring my life saving armors. Life saving armor effect is when incapacitated, gain a 50% chance to revive yourself. And you can stack them with multiple pieces. But it's multiplicative, so it's impossible to make it 100%. Now I'm equipping 5 pieces of life-saving armor and it's time to eat another pumpkin pie. And it works, just like that. The second way is using explosive weapon. In this case I will be using my vampire explosive fixer. The downside of this way is you have to unequip fireproof. And depending on how strong your weapon, you might need Demolition Expert. And also you have to unequip Born Survivor. So the execution is just easy, just aim the ground. But the downside is, you have to equip the Fireproof perk back after you revive. And also Born Survivor if you had it on. And probably you also don't want to use Legacy Weapon with Beam Splitters. I think the multiple projectiles will kill you instantly. The third way is using Grenade. Depending on the type of grenade, usually with Plasma Grenade, you don't even need to take off your Fireproof. Just make sure your health is low enough. But the downside is sometimes you hard to see where the grenade end up. The final way is using fall damage. The downside is that it's not applicable in most situations. Also if you have certain DPT on, you have to unequip Serendipity and equip the perk back after you revive because it can block the fall damage. And failed. So, yeah, confirm that the chance is multiplicative. So, it's impossible to make it 100% with life saving armors. Now I'm already on top of the building again. Success, I got revive and the revenant got activated. I might miss some other ways but generally these are what people use. So that's about how to activate it. Now I want to talk about something weird with this perk that happens after the player unequip the card while it's still active. Normally there are only two things that possible to be happen as expected, whether the buff remains active or gone. But those two are wrong. This time I have Revenant rank 2 equip. It increases my damage with plus 50% additive damage for 2 minutes. Now I will eat pumpkin pie to activate it. Now let's check the pip boy. It 
Right, I have plus 50% damage done right now. I'm gonna remove it. And let's see what happened. It's still there, but it's now plus 25%. Just like the rank one. I will activate Nerd Rage and see how much damage we get. So yeah, looks like the weapon gained some damage. Let's see what happened if I equip the rank 2 Revenant. Now it's back to 50% and yeah, it increases even more. I want to see if I change it back to rank 1, will it like corrupted or something? Or it's just back to the rank 1 Revenant? Oh yeah, it's back to rank 1 Revenant and the duration is still the same. This time, instead of using rank 2 Revenant, I will start by using rank 1 Revenant. Let's see if it's actually got removed when I take off the perk. Before that, I'm gonna check the weapon again. 90 Ballistic, 110 Energy. Okay, now I will take Pumpkin Pie. I have plus 25% damage as expected. Now I'll get back to Nerd Rage state. I'll check the damage. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as before. Like when I put off the rank 2 Revenant. Now I will take it off. And the buff is still there. I'm gonna check the damage again. Yeah, it's still the same. With a plus 25% damage. And what happened if I put on the rank 2 Revenant? Now it's plus 50% damage, and that's kind of weird. Yeah. The conclusion that I can get, just never remove the Revenant if you intend to use it. I made the same mistake in the previous video up until the 30 second Slugbuster video. I was unequipped the Revenant. Probably if I had it equipped, I could kill Earl around 25 seconds with the Slugbuster. That's it for today, thanks for watching and have a good day.